Good morning, Pastor Steve. Um, Romans 14, 4 says, Who are you that judges another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yet he shall be held up, for God is able to make him stand. Now, when the Bible says do not judge, it's speaking of a judgmental spirit. It is not judging someone to be discerning with regard to their character or their teaching. It is not judging someone to speak to him and, if necessary, to others about sin or false teaching. You judge someone wrongly when you assume that you know all of the pertinent facts and motives behind the person's words or action. It was F.B. Meyer, I believe, who once said that when we see a brother or sister in sin, there are two things we don't know. First, we do not know how hard he or she tried not to sin. Second, we do not know the power of the forces that assailed him or her. We also don't know what we would have done in the same circumstances. From uh, uh, the newsletter, Our America, brothers, you'll get this. Dodi Gedian was a school teacher for 13 years and decided that she would travel across America and see all the sites that she had taught about. She traveled along with a truck and a camper in tow, and she headed out. One afternoon uh, on I-5 near Sacramento during rush hour traffic, the water pump went on a truck. She was tired and discouraged, exasperated, scared, and alone. And in spite of the traffic jam that she caused, nobody seemed to even want to stop and help. She leaned up against the trailer and she said, God, please send me an angel, preferably one with mechanical experience. Within four minutes, no kidding, a huge Harley drove up, ridden by this enormous guy with long black hair and a beard and tattoos all over his body. With a great air of confidence, he jumped off and without even looking at her, went to work on the truck. Within a few minutes, he flagged down a larger truck, attached a tow chain to the frame of the disabled Chevy, and whisked the whole 56-foot rig off the freeway onto a side street, where he calmly continued to work on the water pump. The poor school teacher was intimidated and, and couldn't even speak, especially, and she read the paralyzing words on the back of his leather jacket, and he was, um, he was truly an angel sent from God that day. As he finished the task, he finally got up the courage to say, thank you so much, and carried on a brief conversation. Noticing her surprise at the whole ordeal, he looked at her straight in the eye and mumbled, Don't judge a book by its cover. You may not know who you're talking to. With that, he smiled, closed the hood of the truck, straddled his Harley, and with the wave was gone as fast as he had appeared. Larry D. Wright said this, Given half a chance, people often crawl out of the boxes into which we have relegated them. You ponder that, best. Steve.